This episode is brought to you by the Denver Art Museum. This Friday, don't miss Untitled Artist Takeover at the Denver Art Museum. Enjoy live performances, art making stations, cocktails, and interactive moments that invite you to become a part of the evening's festivities. Friday's event will include offbeat art tours, spoken word performances, comedy and musical performances, one night only art installations, and so much more. Reserve your tickets today at denverartmuseum.org. Today on CityCast Denver, it's International Self-Care Day, and here in Denver, we care about ourselves. So our producer, Olivia Jewell-Love, and Demi Harvey, host of Serve It on Indy 1023, are here to recommend some of the best places to go if you want to treat yourself. Today is Monday, July 24th. I'm Bree Davies, and here's what Denver's talking about. Demi Harvey, welcome back to CityCast Denver. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I had so much fun last time. Me too. So today is International Self-Care Day. So tell me about self-care in your life. Oh, I am such a self-care girl. I really am such a fan of spending time with myself solo and like taking care of my mental and my physical health. I think it's so important. The pandemic made that even more of a priority um, because I wasn't doing that as much. And the pandemic kind of like caused me to like slow and everybody else probably to slow down a little bit and just like take pause for how they're feeling internally. And so over the last year or so, I've made it even more of a priority to take care of myself. And so Now I actually put in my calendar like a rest day, like I block out the full day (laughs) so that if someone's like, oh, let's hang out on this day, I'll look at my calendar and be like, no, it says rest day. I'm doing a rest day. That's such a great boundary to have for yourself. Yeah, it is nice. And it's like, we deserve that, you know? Yeah, (laughs) we really do. Well, so Demi and I, we have picked out some solo dates to, um, surprise each other with um, for this conversation today. So let's just start with our our first category. Um, Demi, do you want to start by telling me your your nature and outdoorsy solo date? Yeah, I'm not a huge like naturey person. <laughs> I am very much a city girl. <laughs> um, but uh, if it's not the Botanic Gardens, which is literally my favorite place to go solo, Love. Um, then my other suggestion is doing a hike or riding your bike um, through one of our state parks like here in town. So like Cherry Creek State Park. And then what's nice about Cherry Creek State Park is it has Cherry Creek Reservoir and there's a beach so you can lounge out afterwards. So you kind of get a little reward after like <laughs> working yes. out, exercising, getting out there in nature. And honestly, Cherry Creek State Park has never looked more beautiful with all the rain that we've gotten. And so highly mm-hmm. recommend. And if you don't have a state parks um, like pass, it's only $11 for the whole day. So. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That sounds lovely. I would love, as I say, every time I love a body of water, I would love to, you know, sit and yeah. sit in the sun after. It sounds yeah. just And lovely. if you're feeling outgoing, you know, take a dip. <laughs> yeah, you know, I totally would, I, especially if it's like hot. I'm about to yeah. just jump in. It's fine. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear yours. Like... Yes. So I, I went, I also, I, I don't know, I'm outdoorsy, but I'm not like super, um, adventure fitness get the trek poles out type of like no i'm i'm a brunch girl through and through so i have planned i have planned us a lovely solo date in evergreen one of my favorite places um so this is gonna get you out of town a little bit um it's like 35 40 minutes out of denver and so it's i've kind of given given you a few options here for your solo date so my mom does not like me to hike alone. Um, oh, hi, mom. Mine does, <laughs> she does not either. She has a panic attack. However, however, this hike, which I talked about on our hikes show, this is a very populated hike. And 
It is very short and it has an awesome view at the end. And there are always people on this hike. It's at Alderfer Three Sisters Park, the Brothers Lookout Loop. It's a Ooh. nice little, nice little short loop, but um, at the end, it's got an awesome view. You kind of like can scramble up some rocks if you want. And then you've got an awesome outlook over Evergreen and you can take some pics, do whatever you want, set your phone up on timer cam and go get your new profile picture, whatever you're feeling. <laughs> um, and so then I, I've planned a whole day for this. So oh, yes. if you're trying to brunch, if you're trying to brunch, you can go over to Willow Creek restaurant across from the Evergreen Lake and get some lovely breakfast, brunch, lunch, it's so cute. You, they have a patio that you can sit out and like look at the lake. And it's just like a perfect place to sit by yourself and have a meal. And just they have a little like I think it's called a provision store where they sell little oh like, my gosh. you know, soups, tchotchkes, spreads like you could go there before and pick up stuff for your picnic. So it's like the perfect place. And then you're right by Evergreen. So there's plenty of there's plenty of places to go if you want to go downtown and pop in a couple of little shops I love the Silver Arrow for like handmade jewelry. They have some really cute stuff that love a love a ring that won't turn your finger green. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who buys cheap jewelry, you know, they have they have nice jewelry. So yeah, that's that's my day. And it's kind of, you know, if you want to spend money, if you want to keep it cheap, you got options. I love that. And it's not yes. far from Denver, which is great. And I also love the drive. The drive is beautiful. Yeah, that drive is gorgeous. And it's just it's just far enough out of town that you feel like you can escape from yeah. your worldly duties. <laughs> <laughs> escape from the busy, very hot city. <laughs> yeah, it's it's usually a little bit cooler in Evergreen. I, I plan this for the morning. So then, you know, your hike's not super sweaty and, you yeah. know, you can enjoy that, that be morning. a thing in general like same with the cherry creek like recommendation like get out there a little bit early because yeah it, it does get hot when the sun's like beating down on you so yeah yes this episode is brought to you by wanna brands wanna brands is north america's fastest growing producer of premium cannabis infused gummies this woman-founded and woman-led company based in Boulder offers vegan, melt-proof THC gummies in a variety of flavors and uses. They've invested thousands of hours of innovation into a line of cannabinoid-powered products called Wana Optimals. The newest Wana Optimals formulation is called Quick Calm. It's calibrated to help relieve anxious feelings and spiraling thoughts in just 5 to 15 minutes. These fast-acting gummies are powered by a blend of CBD and a rare cannabinoid known as CBG, which work together to calm your mind. So whether you're a hardcore cannabis lover or are simply seeking a plant-based way to enhance your daily wellness, Wana has something for you. Learn more at wanabrands.com. That's W-A-N-A brands.com. Okay, so let's move on to our extroverted date. So this one we wanted to see like... You know, solo dates, it's kind of like you're going and doing your own thing. But this one, I kind of thought about you're on this date with yourself. You're kind of doing your own thing. But maybe there's an opportunity to meet other people while you're there or just be around other people or kind of along those lines. So I'm curious yeah. what, what your recommendation for that is, Demi. Oh, yeah. This one's exciting for me because I love music. I love going to concerts, like that kind of thing. I go to concerts alone all the time. I know it sounds intimidating, but honestly, no one is judging you. But my recommendation is MCA, the Museum of Contemporary Art Denver's B-Side Music Friday series. Um, it's a concert series that's going on um, during the summer. And it's every Friday evening on their rooftop, which is stunning. Mm -hmm. Has such a beautiful view of downtown. They have a rooftop bar up there with cocktails, mocktails, coffee, snacks, all sorts of stuff. And they set up a little area that's on their rooftop as a stage for performers. So it's a mix between DJs and bands and solo artists and stripped down. And it's many different genres and they try to focus on local musicians. So it's a cool way to like get to know a local act, but there's a crowd there, you know, yeah. it's a mix of different people from their members to people going just randomly because they've heard of it because it's um, open to the public. So anybody can buy a ticket for it. But 
it's a nice way to get out there and be social, quote unquote. Yeah. But you you can choose your own journey. Do you want to talk to people and like schmooze, hang out? Or yeah. do you just want to go up there, have a drink and watch a good show? You can even get there early and check out the museum, which is great. B-Side Music Fridays, it's every Friday running now through August. So you have time to go and check out a show, but they do sell out. So get on top of that and tickets for general admission are $30. Well, that's awesome. And we'll have links to all this stuff in the show notes so you can plan your solo date. But that sounds awesome. And, you know, what a what a demi date, you know, yeah. like, I love that. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's so like, cool, too. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to go have a solo date on the rooftop yeah. of one of our so museums. Cool. Like, what? <laughs> like, cool girl, cool, cool girl, girl alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well, mine is a little different. Um This is what I'm kind of trying to like manifest for myself. So um, I'm taking myself on a extroverted date to a clothing swap. So this one was a little bit harder for me because I see them happening all the time. And then, of course, like the second I want to put it in the show, I can't find the one that I want to like link to. So I found one that I think would be great for um, people with kids and people who take care of young children, stuff like that. So there's one um, hosted by Women in Sustainability um, late in August on the 27th. And it's going to be a sift and thrift clothing event where you can um, trade baby clothes and toddler clothes. And so you can take pieces with you and come away with different pieces. And so... I think it's a really good way to, you know, get out there because like, if you're somebody who loves fashion, loves thrifting, things like that, this is a cool way to kind of engage with that community. Mm. So I thought you could try hosting one for yourself. Yeah. Why not grab a couple neighbors or friends and be like, hey, everybody bring five pieces of clothing that they're they're not loving anymore. And let's, you know, let's trade and let's do it with our neighborhood or our friend group or whatever. So I, th- I think it would be really fun. I would like to see more of these. And I know some friends who have started trying to trying to like get these together. So I think oh, that'd be I think it'd be really cool. That's actually so cool because I've only been to one clothing swap and it was fun. Like there was like little drinks and little appetizers and things like that there. And that was really cool. Very social. But I have been seeing more clothing swap. I think yeah. I saw like a plus size specific one like floating yeah. around at one point. And I was like, that was such a good idea. And I thought about going alone. So that is, yeah, I love this idea. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be really cool. If your closet's not fitting your vibe anymore for whatever reason, yeah. go go swap it. Or even like what you said with kids, like I have so many friends with really small kids yeah. now. They and grow they so grow quick. Out of, yeah, they grow out of those clothes so quickly. So this is such a sustainable and more affordable way to be able to get clothes for your kids that are just yes. going to burp. And uh, bark and <laughs> poop all over them anyway. Yeah, and then suddenly they're like four sizes bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So awesome. yeah, so now we're on our, our grand finale of uh, of yes. our solo dates. So um, <laughs> we've got our, our hidden gems, which I'm super excited for this one. You want to yeah. start us off? I will. Surprise, surprise. It's another concert. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But it combines like two of my favorite things. I do love a park. I'm a huge fan of parks and green space, especially in Denver. We have so many beautiful places to choose from. And one of my favorite green spaces is one you might already know of. It's called Levitt Pavilion. (laughs) Oh, just a small. Friend of the show. Just a small venue. (laughs) A small unknown venue. But what's cool about Levitt Pavilion is it is located pretty close to Denver City Center, but it's so easy to get to. And they have a free concert series going on all summer as well. And what's nice about Levitt Pavilion is it feels a lot less stressful than just going to any other concert because it has a huge lawn. So you can bring in your picnic blanket, you can bring in your chairs, whatever, and just lounge out. So even if you don't know who the band is, which a lot of times I don't know who's playing, but it's so low stakes to just take your blanket and just go pick a 
more remote corner of the venue, set up, bring your snacks, bring a book or something like that. And honestly, just people watch and enjoy the vibe. And you can't go wrong with it being free. Like, I love that. And so, yeah, go and support a local venue, a Colorado venue. And they do book a lot of Colorado artists as well. And, you know, have yourself a good time. And you could stay as long as you want. That's another thing, too. Oh, that's awesome. Leave, and that sounds like another um, one that you could totally bring kids to, bring people of yes, all ages to. So, yeah. you know, it'd be a good option for for, for families or yeah. whatever. And you can meet people if you'd like to. They'll have food trucks and they have like all sorts of little things like on site. So you have opportunities to run into people or meet people if you'd like to. Or mm-hmm. you can do what I do and set up a little bit of bacon over in the corner. <laughs> and it's like Just no mind. one knows you're there. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds like a perfect <laughs> evening, honestly. Yeah. What's I yours? Okay, so my hidden gem. <laughs> this is a very Olivia one. I was trying to, I was thinking about this really hard. And then I was like, I'm overthinking it. I just need to think like, where would I go? You yeah. know? And so mine is the Old Crows Antique Mall in Littleton. So this antique mall is so cool. I'm obsessed with this place. They have a root beer bar in it, <laughs> which is what? hilarious. They have like, I don't know, like definitely over a hundred types of root beer. And then you oh can like God. you can get like a root beer flow or whatever. And then they also have a punch card for the root beer, which is hilarious. Like you can get a punch each time you get a root beer and work your way towards a free one. So this this antique mall is huge. I read online it's like 42,000 square feet, which like what? What? But it is so cool. They have so much variety. I'm definitely a vintage glass girly. I love, you know, depression glass, uranium glass. I love little fairy lamps. Um... So I, I just think that stuff is so adorable. And I think this is a perfect solo date um, because, you know, when you go by yourself, it's just you can spend however much time you want looking at stuff, the stuff you want. You don't have to wait for someone else to go look at the baseball cards or whatever when you just <laughs> want to look at, you know, the cute little, you know, trinkets. So it's perfect. You don't have to wait on anyone else. You can get you a little root beer, refreshment. Just, you know, another tenant of my perfect self-care day, having a little treat. And it is so fun. And you could you could spend as much time as you wanted in there. Honestly, it is huge. So you could make an afternoon of it or, you know, you could just go for a little bit and just go poke around a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know if you're in Littleton, it's not really hidden. I mean, it's like a giant antique mall, but antique malls, I don't know if they're really like advertised that much. So I think it's a hidden gem to me. Yeah, I didn't know about that. And I used to live very close to Littleton. So oh. I think it's cool to like highlight things uh, even a little outside of Denver because you never know. And also vintage shopping can be overwhelming with a group. I would much yes. prefer to go by myself. Oh, me too. I don't want to <laughs> wait on anyone else. No. I'm like, nope. We're you doing catch my me thing. doing that this weekend. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, Demi, this was so much fun. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I learned, honestly, so much new stuff. (laughs) And here's what else Denverites are talking about. The workers at Casa Bonita. Ever since the South Park guys changed their tipping policy last minute, employees have been organizing with union group ROC United. The policy change and the tipping situation are obviously driving everyone crazy. But it sounds to us like this is just as much about the wildly inconsistent schedule and unclear expectations around the much anticipated reopening of CB. We've heard that workers were required to sign NDAs, but we're not giving up. We want to know what's going on inside the Pink Palace. Please send us any tips if you've got them. And in transit news, we're approaching the halfway point of RTD's two-month zero fare for better air experiment. While residents get a taste of free transit, RTD's board is about to vote on the biggest fare decrease in decades, according to our friend Nate Miner at Denverite. The board votes Tuesday, and we want to hear from you. How is the free fare month going for you? Are you changing your transit habits? Call the free fare hotline at 720-500-5418. That number again is 720-500-5418. And finally, 
Thank you so much to everyone who came out to see us live on Colfax last Thursday. It was so fun. Thank you especially to these two listeners, Amanda and Peter, for saying hello. Hey, this is Amanda and Peter. Um, we're at the event uh, at uh, Brews, and we got inspired by listening to the live podcast, and we wanted to share another Colfax favorite. Yeah, our favorite definitely has to be Spices Cafe. It definitely is one of the <laughs> craziest hole in the walls on the street. There's a cage, turf. But the food there is amazing, and we think it's like definitely one of the most amazing spots on Colfax. And we just wanted to highlight and shout that spot out. Um, don't know if you want to say anything more, Amanda. But that was definitely the first brunch place we went on Colfax, and it was hilarious, and it's the best time. And great food. Thanks so much for doing it tonight at the Bruce Cafe. Of the Bruce Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> but that was amazing. We had such a fun time. Thank you, guys. Bye. That's all for today here on CityCast Denver. If you enjoyed this show, why not take a minute to tell your mom about us? Rate the show five stars wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe to our morning newsletter, Hey Denver, by texting Denver to 66866. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. See you later. Treat yourself. It's like a whole, you don't know it? Oh, Paul.